you hear a loud sigh of relief right around 6 p.m. Eastern time tonight. It just might be coming from the NCAA selection committee. We are inching closer to the selection show, but first, a championship to be decided on St. Patrick's Day in Chicago. The Michigan Wolverines and the Michigan State Spartans. Who knows, maybe even a one seed in the tournament could be on the line here. We'll find out about that a little later on. But in the meantime, hello, friends, and happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Jim Nance, Grant Hill, along with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson on her birthday. Now let's the Giant Eagle along with Bill Raftery. Big one here. We know that Michigan is trying to keep the momentum going heading into the conference tournament at Michigan State. They still need to make some things happen before we get to the big dance. I think Michigan's ready to roll. I come Big Ten tournament, NCAA tournament. Michigan State, in the other hand, I think it's a must win for them. And if they're going to win, they better play Dickinson extremely well in that low post and get some solid guard play. All right, let's check out our fast analysis. It is presented by AT&T 5G RAF. The wings, and Bird, I know how you love your wings. The ability to drill it from deep and deliver such a solid player. Both ends of the floor, high field goal percentage. And on the other side, Franz Wagner, the ability to drive it, finish on that right hand with a little kiss. He is solid as well on that offensive end encounter. Oh, Henry, leap, get to the rim. Send it in. If he can get a touch of the lane, get some points on his own, or find some people, gives Michigan State a legitimate shot. It is a storied rivalry renewed. Michigan and Michigan State wrapping up the Big Ten regular season. We've got all the action as Countdown to Tip Off continues here on CBS. path he chooses will be up to him though. No outside influence is trying to guide him one way or the other. He's making the call. That focus is something scouts are sure to know. Now here's MP. Here's Hall. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. He seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision exits.
practice, the monotonous drills, the hours of perfecting this game we love are over. The anticipation, the excitement, the hard work has built to this moment. This moment is where we define ourselves. Who are we? We are a team, united and strong, here to make a stand and to prove that nothing will stop us. Toughness is our attitude. Discipline is how we got here. Character carries us through the good and the bad. Leaders are who we strive to become. Competitors are who we are. Tradition is what we are. Passion drives us to succeed. Victory is our goal. Who are we? We are Sooners. We are Oklahoma basketball. Hey, the name of the game is trying to keep up with this team's incredible offense, but very few schools are able to do that. I mean, they're led by the number one scorer in the nation with Denzel Pryor. And if there was a way to slow Pryor down, well, I don't think we've seen it yet. And with a championship just two wins away, we know both these teams need to get the ball rolling. And the begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. Yeah, he gets it going. Who knows now? You know, it might be a really big night in store for him. And last time we saw Oklahoma make it this far was 2016, which makes this a much shorter break between appearances than most teams enjoy. Montgomery. And another shot. MP with the block. MP staying engaged, not being on defense. That's something that pro scouts are always looking for. He's Vincent. No good with the triple. Oklahoma's speedy return to the tournament semifinals definitely says something about the strength of their program. Well, they attract high-caliber talent and have a very committed coaching staff, and a good one at that. That's a recipe for repeat success. And the shot goes down. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. They're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Pass to Pryor. From downtown. And Hawkins pulls it down. MP, high post. Pryor on him. And the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Now Pryor over MP and misses it off the right side of the rim. And what a season it was for Texas Tech in 2019. One of the big highlights, beating a tremendous Michigan State squad in the tournament to reach their first finals ever. Hawkins can't hit. Nixon. Evans outside. A loving footer. The Sooners pull it in. And the Spartans were a two seed that year, but the Red Raiders won it by 10. Texas Tech allowed only 51 points in that game. And that's after Michigan State had averaged 75 over 
course of the season. Rather rare times this morning. We're just out of line. We're not really sure that's the time for the fade away, but he sure can make it. Time call here. The Red Raiders decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Pass to Evans. Outside Pryor, looking to end the drought, drills the three-pointer. Yeah, I tell you what, Pryor certainly makes it look easy. Even from range, he's a constant scoring threat. And for MP and his team, this is the second one seed they have seen in the tournament. About as tough a road as ever. And you said he's the path for them, but they managed to call every step of the way. What's another one seed standing between them and a trip to the finals? It's up and it's off the mark. One up, one not down. The baseline, Jay. Shooters keep it alive. Conley, Evans with some nice D. Texas Tech trailing here. Outside, Pryor. Takes a three. And again, it's Texas Tech with a three. Whenever Pryor gets the ball, he's in attack mode, looking to shoot it. And for good reason, he converts a high percentage. Here's Evans. Pass to Butler. The shot by Montgomery, no good. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He still scores. Here's Barry. Back to MP. Pass to Conley. The shot, no good. So Texas Tech will have it the other way. And something this team's run has shown just how important it is for a team to peak at the right time. You know, we've seen it happen a number of times in the last decade. It makes a deep run. It doesn't matter what your seed is if you play like this group. Outside Pryor on the elbow. And the jumper is on the mark. And that is in Pryor's wheelhouse. Half of them rising up from that mid-range area. A terrific score. Pass to Barrett. Here's Conley. Here's Hopkins. And too long on the shot. On offense, here are the Red Raiders. Trailing by four. Pryor, covered by MP. Here's Butler. Bucket six. And it doesn't go for him. And it's the Sooners taking it the other way. Pass to Hawkins. Back to MP. Here's Conley. Screened by MP. The steal. Here's the fast break. Now watching the line there, and that'll be a bad boy violation. It's a rare turnover here. Just their first here in Japan. That's one thing we've seen them do quite well, staying in possession of the ball. Yeah, yeah, still trailing, though, and they'll need to maintain that and also step it up in other facets of their game. And we've seen some great Cinderella stories. This run by an eight seed has to be up there with them. Not the lowest seed to ever make it this far, but it is rare company. Now here's Bradley. Pass to Davidson. Underwood with the ball. From 10 feet out. 
Rebounded by Montgomery. Only three other eight teams have made it this far. Last time an eight seed won it all was Villanova in 1985. Some 11 seeds like the 2021 UCLA team made it this far. But this is usually where the underdogs start to fall off and get knocked off. However, you can't count this group out. And there hasn't been anything easy for them in this group. Yeah, and it's not showing any signs, Greg, of turning around here soon. I mean, this touch is basically gone AWOL. Here's Butler. And here's Bradley. Shot clock at six. Here's Norris. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot. Tonight. And showing the composure, even against the contact. Is there anyone that doesn't appreciate Norris's physical style as well? six seasons. Now here's Davidson. Here's Butler. Again, the Sooner score. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Livingston outside. Off with the layup. The Sooners with the lead. Outside, Norris. Davidson outside. Norris. Tipped away. It's stolen by Livingston. Pass to Holland. Here's Montgomery. Underwood defending. Outside Holland. And the layup is good. And for the Red Raiders, recruits are starting to take notice. They're adding four-star prospects on the regular now, which gives them the firepower to maintain that momentum. A lot of good athletes on this team. Pass to Bradley. Norris. And here's Davidson. From the high post. And good coming on the assist from Norris. And the Red Raiders calling card has been their high efficiency defense. It's an aggressive, unique scheme that baffles opponents to no end. Now here's Holland. Back to Livingston. Nixon, Bradley defending. Here's Nixon. Shoots over Bradley. Nixon's shot is off. Bradley with it. Here's Butler using his post moves to get the two points. Well, you know, this is what Oklahoma loves about Bradley. I mean, his ability to read the floor and make the right decision more times than not. And the first half now in the books. The Sooners ahead, up 10. And here in the second half, a trip to the title game hangs in the balance. Both teams have been waiting all season for this. What grabbed your attention about MP's performance in that first half? You know, hasn't had the impact that maybe we expected. I thought he disappeared for stretches in that first half. Yeah, you know, it's been a desultory performance to this point. Look that one up, folks. We'll see if the coaches light a fire in him to be more aggressive in the second stand. Here's Neely. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to go on Vincent. When you think about Oklahoma basketball's impact on the modern NBA, the name Buddy Heald certainly comes to mind. Yeah, Heald left the Sooners to become a solid NBA player. But looking back on his school days, he still holds the second spot at Oklahoma for all-time scoring.
And I think Oklahoma basketball, I think Blake Griffin, a player whose number hangs in the rafters, and he made a huge impact on that school. And so he makes both from the line. No questioning the significance of Blake Griffin's time as a Sooner. In fact, he's the only first overall draft pick to come out of Oklahoma. That really speaks to the attention he grabbed while he was there. Over two seasons, Griffin amassed a ton of college awards and brought a lot of eyes to the Sooners basketball program. Texas Tech trailing here. Here's Nixon. And so it looks like the Red Raiders will retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Pass to Neely. Norris with the steal. And they're pushing it up. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Breyer with it. Over MP. And Hawkins pulls it down. And Oklahoma has possession. Ten-point lead is their largest. Probably the name that leaps to mind when you think about Oklahoma right now, Trey Young, the hottest recent export to come from this school to the NBA. Now here's Norris. Six to shoot. Here's Vincent. And so he earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And you look at the ascension of the Red Raiders. 2018 was really their coming out year. They've won 27 games this regular season, earning a three seed. And it was the first year making the final eight in the tournament. That one falls, so he hits both of them. While Trey Young only played a single season with the Sooners, he certainly did draw a lot of attention during that time. Well, he did have some crazy numbers while at Oklahoma. You know, most great players at the college level don't stay long, but I think Oklahoma should still take credit for introducing him to the world. But they recover it. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Butler. Pass to Pryor for three. Knocks down the three ball. Well, I think this just shows the confidence Pryor has in his game. Shooting without any kind of hesitation. That's supreme confidence. Kicks it out to MP. Here's Conley. Fires from deep. Pass to Vincent. Conley. Now here's MP. He's got six. Now here's Vincent. Down low. The shot is good. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Now Evans. Neely with it. Now guarded by Barrett. Now here's Neely. D right on him. Here's Pryor. That doesn't go either for Pryor. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Boy, what happened on that one, Greg? I mean, that's almost an automatic shot for him. On offense, here are the Red Raiders. It's a 16-point game. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Here's Conley. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Screen by MP. Three-pointer. 
Butler pulls it in. Now here is Evans, guarded by Barrett. Pass to Pryor. Here's Butler. And here's Evans. Down to five on the shot clock. Butler. He tries for three. That shot missing. MP outside. Pass to Barrett. Screened by MP. Barrett can't get it to go. Here's Texas Tech now. Trailing by 13. Now here's Evans. He's closely guarded. Outside Pryor. They double team Pryor. The shot misses. Good D by Vincent. And the Sooners call time here. Now into the lineup for Oklahoma, Jalen Underwood, Mao Chung Wang, Javon Bradley, Edgar Norris. Substitution for Texas Tech. Now here's MP. Livingston covering the drive by MP and stolen by Neely. Here's Evans. Neely. And here's Evans. Good work defensively by Norris. Here's MP. Good. And it's Norris who picks up the assist. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Evans. Cans it from downtown. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Outside Bradley. And he makes it the layup. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Oh, that's right on the money. They've generated a lot of easy opportunities on the inside. Here's Barry. Back to Evans. Pass to Livingston. Here's the three. No good that time. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough, but that's how you win games. Nixon, good! Justin Nixon. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. Now here's MP. Makes the bucket. He's now five for eight in the game. Explosive drive that time by MP. Slicing right through the defense. And Norris comes to help. On offense, here are the Red Raiders. It's a 13-point game. Back to Evans. Livingston covered by MP. Misses the wing jumper. These guys have some good motion on offense. Nice assists. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. They set the pick. Pass the wall. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming up. It goes on Evans. For Oklahoma, now John Wang shooting two. And that one misses. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he can't hit the second. Here's Barry. On the wing, Holland. And the three off target. They can burn some clock if they want. And get a little breather as well. And looking at the time in the clock, it's all but wrapped up. MP and his team have a chance to play for the national title. And it'll end another great run in the process. 
But you have to feel like destiny is on the side of MP in this group. They'll have one more challenge in the finals, but they peaked at the right time, guys, and are the hottest team in the country. Anything can happen in two days when it's winner take all, baby. Back to MP. Outside, Norris. There's the screen. Pass to Wong. Another shot. Not going to go that time. The Red Raiders go the other way with it. Here's Montgomery. Shoots the three. Nixon. Good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. Here's MP. Rebound Texas Tech. Evans outside. Deflects the pass. Norris with the steal. Here's the break. It's on target from the high post. Yeah, I think that one closes the door on any comeback hopes. Impressive performance. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, we'd like to officially welcome everybody to garbage time. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. To the middle. Underwood. Count the bucket coming off the perfectly placed assist. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. So it's Oklahoma now. MP with it. Outside, Norris. Back to MP. And so the Oklahoma Sooners have won and will move on. I don't think there was any doubt. They were in control during this one and showed no signs of letting up. An epic conclusion. Can't believe it's over. I'm Forrest Hunt with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Take it easy, everybody. Woo!